My hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. The cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are stilled, when striving cease, my comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You're all very welcome this beautiful morning to participate in this Mass that's live streamed. And we welcome the children who are uh, following the Mass this morning. It's a beautiful day that God has blessed us with. So let's take a few moments to focus on the presence of Jesus, his death and resurrection that we will celebrate here on this altar. Let's call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for his forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are our resurrection and our life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are our hope and our salvation. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the one savior of the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, grant your people constancy in faith and hope that we never we may never doubt the promises of which we have learned from you. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, some Jews from Antioch and Iconium arrived and won over the crowds. They stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples gathered around him, he got up and entered the city. On the following day, he left with Barnabas for Derby. After they had proclaimed the good news to that city and made a considerable number of disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in the faith, saying, it is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed presbyters for them in each church and with prayer and fasting <clears throat> commended them to the Lord in whom they had put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. After proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Atalia. From there, they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together and reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith 
to the Gentiles. Then they spent no little time with the disciples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends, friends make known, O Lord, the, the glorious of splendor your, of your kingdom. kingdom making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord and may all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Your friends, friends make, make known, known, O Lord, Lord the, the glorious splendor of, of your kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you, I am going away, and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now that I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. I will no longer speak much with you, for the ruler of the world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must know that I love the Father and that I do just as the Father has commanded me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I am sure you're all aware that we have been reading from the Acts of the Apostles since the day after Easter. Monday of the Octet, and very, very interesting. In the Acts of the Apostles, of course, Pentecost took place at the same time as the resurrection. And uh, there are a few things just to bring to mind. It's amazing at the tremendous growth of the early church. Have you noticed that? Tremendous growth, tremendous growth. And more people were added to their numbers. More people were added to their numbers. And uh, <clears throat> the preaching of the apostles, Peter and Paul and uh, Barnabas and uh, Philip and all the disciples and apostles, they spoke with a lot of energy. They were filled with the Spirit. The Spirit of God was with them. So there was tremendous results. And of course, the Holy Spirit is the primary agent of evangelization. The primary agent of evangelization is the Holy Spirit. And they were spirit-filled. You also probably have noticed that a lot of persecutions in the early church, and of course, down to our own day, uh, persecutions, today's first reading, the Jews at Iconium and Antioch pulled the people away from Paul. 
and then they stoned Paul to death. Not to death, but almost to death. And they took him outside the city and left him for dead. That's what the reading says. And of course, his friends and uh, the other uh, apostles and those who were with him, disciples, they made a circle around him. And they encouraged him and I'm sure it helped to clean his wounds, etc., etc. And uh, Paul stood up. What did he do? Go back into town where they had uh, stoned him. He continued on to other places um, and uh, he and uh, Barnabas. And uh, he spoke about the importance of perseverance. You need to persevere. Don't give up. Don't quit. And then he said, we have to suffer these things before entering the reign of God. Suffering is part of the process. And uh, they um, got certain presbyters and uh, elders, and they laid hands on them. And they kind of put them in charge of the little faith communities that they had established. And they prayed over them. And then they kept going. The whole moving on, sharing the good news. So the great thing was there down in the Acts of the Apostles, tremendous growth and a lot of persecutions. Also, there was one other thing that you probably have noticed in those readings the past number of weeks was that, of course, in one of the readings on Sunday was about the deacons. The apostles wanted to preach the word of God. But who's going to take care of the widows and these poor people? And they selected deacons so that they could devote themselves to prayer and preaching the word of God. And also, there was some division there in the early church, division, internal division. And that, of course, is going on in the church since then. There's even division today of one kind or another. But nevertheless, the apostles came together. They didn't leave it fester and move in different directions. They came together. They prayed about it. And then they made a decision I think one of those important was, ones was about the Gentiles who were received into the church. They did not need to be circumcised, etc., etc. So anyhow, an important point there is the centrality of the Twelve. The centrality of the Twelve. They're stuck together. They didn't go in different directions. They did to preach the Word of God. But they kept together, united, united, the apostolic church. And um, they had time to pray and to evangelize and to preach and to teach. And they had a, an intimate relationship with the Lord. He had already called them in to follow him. And they had a, a very close and loving relationship with Jesus. And they stuck with them. They, they lived in Christ, and Christ lived in them. As St. Paul says, I live now, not I, but Christ lives in me. So the message, I guess, for us is that we're all called to evangelize, but how do we do it right now? Well, by word, by example. Maybe calling somebody today that's lonely, are hurting in some way. We have a lot of volunteers here in the parish who reach out to the elderly and do errands for them, do shopping for them, go to the um, um, drug stores, etc. I just heard there during the week that somebody was telling me that a non-Catholic watched the mass 
live streaming for the first time. He was at a Catholic mass. Some Catholic invited him, and he was deeply touched, deeply touched. Well, you might invite somebody, some friend, to watch the mass, <laughs> and uh, you never know. God works in various ways. Thanks for technology. But the good news is still being, uh, getting out there and touching the lives of people. We all have an opportunity to evangelize and to bring Jesus to people and to bring people to Jesus. Thank you. Let's lift our minds and hearts now to God our Father and pray for all of our needs. Of the body of Christ that our belief will be strengthened and our works always point the way to the Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for families of every kind as they continue to be church at home that they will be, let themselves be built into a spiritual house for God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we would all strive to bring the good news of salvation to others by word and example. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those suffering from the cor coronavirus and for all those who are taking care of them, doctors and nurses, for scientists, for volunteers, for everybody involved, helping to bring hope and to alleviate their pain and to stop the virus as soon as possible, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the children and youth preparing for their first Holy Communion and confirmation, pray also for those in the RCIA process preparing for the sacraments of initiation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Bill Queen, Eddie Tessier, and all those who are sick, that they may be touched by God's healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our for prayer. For all of our mothers, living and deceased, for whom this Mass is being offered, in particular, and for all of our own special intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We lift up these prayers and petitions to the intercession of Mary. Hail Mary, full, of, full grace, of grace, the Lord, the Lord is, is with thee. With you. Blessed, blessed art thou among, among women, and blessed, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour, hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in helpless babe, this gift of love and righteousness, scorned by the ones he came to save, till on that cross as Jesus died, the wrath of God was satisfied for every sin on him was laid. Here in the death of Christ I live. body lay, light of the world by darkness slain, then bursting forth in glorious day, up from the grave he rose again, and as he 
stands in victory. Since curse has lost its grip on me, for I am his and he is mine, bought with the precious blood of Christ. My sisters and brothers pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great badness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and was more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat, eat this bread and drink this cup, cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, 
as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, John, his assistant bishop, with all the clergy, the religious, those consecrated to your service and all your faithful people. Remember also your bro our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, heaven, in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, be thy, thy name. name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, kingdom, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. And forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer a gesture of peace to each other. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, roof. 
but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Be healed. Prayer for spiritual communion. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. Jesus, these words console my heart. You are the way and the truth and the life. My Jesus, I praise you and offer my life to you. As you have given new life to me, build me into a spiritual home for God. I want to receive you into my soul. I long to come to you at the table of the Eucharist. But since I cannot at this time receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart, where I embrace you and I unite myself wholly to you. Never let me be separated from you. Keep me close in your sacred heart. Let me praise you all the days of my life. Amen. I am the bread of life. You who come, come to, to me shall not hunger, and to believe in me shall not thirst. No one can come to me unless the Father beckons, and I will Let us stand and pray. (coughs) 
Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in the flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much for joining us for this Mass and live streaming. That is great. And we pray that you will all have a good day. And uh, we continue to pray for you. And we also appreciate your prayers for us. That's uh, very, very important. Prayer is very important during this time. Very, very important. And as usual, we have the Rosary this evening at uh, 7 p.m. And the churches are open all day. And um, it's a good thing to visit the church and take time to pray. That would be great. We're very grateful to all the people participating this morning. Mary Ellen and the singing was beautiful, Carolyn. And Pat, Father Mike. So that's very wonderful. Thank you, thank you. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, radiating the joy of the gospel. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Holy Queen, Queen and throne above.